Say honor. Honor. Say honor. Honor. First commandment. Whoever chose his parent. Have you, did you choose your parent? So you don't honor by choice. You honor by command. Said it is God's word, commandment. commandment. Now, if a man should honor by choice, it means there must be things which should influence his honor. But God knowing that, that if it is by choice, you, would, you might have a reason not to honor your father and mother. He said, I give it to you as a command so that it will overrule your system of choice. Mm. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Pastor. Some of you, it is so bad that you cannot even associate to your hometown. Yes, what you can say, I come from Cape Coast. You know you don't come from Cape Coast. Mercy. Yes, I'm coming to that place. Some, some people can lie. Mm. Hey, this is your mother. He said, oh no, it's not my mother. Where is your mother? Oh, my mother is around. You, you know your mother is not. He's serious. He's, yes. I had a one, one story of a girl who, they asked her, she said, oh, my father is in America. Yet we knew the father was the here. <laughs> yes. It is serious. Very. It's a big, it's a big anchor. There are people who can be like that. They just can't be proud. They, can't, they just can't tell people this is my mother. Because God knows with some people, by your own preferences, you may choose to honor or not. Mm. Mm. LP. See, help me now. How can I honor nice woman like this, young woman? Because our LP is young. You come in with your system of growth. You that you are older than God. <laughs> Record. You are older than God. God said, honor. Even if I decided to bring a mad woman here as my wife, you honor a mad woman. Let alone this amazing and beautiful damsel. Hey. The most beautiful woman in the whole world. My God. In my world. You honor her with that consent because she's the mother of the commission. It's it honor. Says my classmates, that is stupidity. Honor is by command. Yes, it is only a command that will make you now. You should you will even be her senior by command. You should honor. Mm. I, to, I said, with God, see, God knows the heart of man. You know, if he gives you your own preferences to honor by choice. You know why? The good man or the good woman you praise today is a bad woman or bad man in somebody's story. I'm telling you the truth. That's your best friend now is somebody's bad friend. Or you don't know. If you like, ask Jesus. The Bible said he, he is the only man that lived without sin. Yet people had something to say about him. So he ended his saying, he said, what is you? If all men speak well of you. So the good man also has a bad report about him that nobody sees. Honor. So honor is by command. And you know, a genuine test of honor. See, when God gives it to you as a command, the genuine test is that you might have a reason to dishonor. That's what God gives you to you as a command. Do it. Not because you think she deserves it. 
not because you think he deserves it but because god said that do it simple for this reason you can't choose who your father and mother is because mm. i know you even when you have no go anywhere you said oh i wish i was born in america so god knows left with you alone if god now before they gave birth to you call in heaven said where where do you want to be born he said god i want florida I, I want miami miami or vegas that's okay ghana so god please that then don't i don't want to come to the ghana no 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 in Ghana now you are you are in talk radio and they talk radio questioning to say god this place ah. why well, there are the hollywood cities and stuff that ah. praise god you can't choose honor i'll show you systems but then in spite of what god had called you and had given you a command to honor because he knows this is the way that your life will go well with you he knows this is the way that you can have a longevity of life the same thing that god put it down for you to be well with you for you to have longevity you are fighting that that's why you in the spirit you are already approaching your grave mm. because you have somewhere someone dishonor your father and mother so you already approach it. Have you told the reason why everything you do is collapsing? There is nothing you, you do that prospers. You, everything you do is collapsing. There are people, they might not pray and speak in tongues like you do. But every business they are doing, they are doing well. Mm. Some way, some they know how to take off their parent. They are taking off their parent. Not only their parent, they come to the house of God. They give to their men of God. They give to support the things of God. See, in the kingdom, the mystery is not about how much you possess, it's about how much you give. And how can you give if you don't have? This is the reason why there is something called continual flow. That means it is going out because it is flowing. So you don't have to have enough. But you have all that you need is flowing. So the mystery is this. It is still flowing. That's not end. So it is not a product. You are not, you are not the source. You become a channel. So you cannot determine my worth by me. You determine my worth by God. This is the reason I said, oh, no, 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 it's okay. Oh, look at the world's richest men. The real richest people are in the church. But because we are not the source, you look at us, okay, oh, dear, that person is being estimated this amount. But I tell you of a truth, our source determines our world. We don't want to be called the richest. We want to become the channel of God's riches. But my rich, my riches is traceable to the riches of God. Amen. I hope I'm speaking to you. Yes, sir. Honor. Let me share certain things with you. I'm, I'm showing you two or three things. People have reasons to honor. And, and they have... I, I want to show you what happened to them. Genesis chapter number 9. The verses number 22. Genesis 9. Mm -hmm. Verse 22. Verse 22. And Ham, and Ham, the father of Canaan, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father. Ham saw the nakedness of his father. May God help you. You please position. I'm, I'm going to show you about the mystery of positioning. Listen, truth be said, every man has nakedness, whether you like it or not. The mystery is that you are covered now. You are wearing a cloth. But mm. when that cloth is off, you'll be naked. Ham saw his father naked not because he decided. The man was under intoxicating effect. He drank wine. The Bible said, do not be drank with wine wherein it is excess. 
Because wine in excess will make you do things which you will naturally not do. So the man is under intoxication. He had been intoxicated. He's under an effect of intoxication. And became naked. Do you know that after every intoxication there is a recovery? Yes, a man must be will be under the influence of wine now but the guarantee is that within a period of time that influence will break off and he will come to himself yes, do not do not take your father to be a fool if at the moment he's under any intoxicating effect hmm. oh. He was under nakedness. The Bible said he saw, and I will show you, Ham decided to look at it. Why there are some of you, you have already seen your father's nakedness because you chose to see it. Put yourself in a place where you don't want to see your father's nakedness. And the nakedness actually means shame. That's why you should put boundaries. The moment somebody wants to open up a mistake or a weakness of a father, which upon hearing will affect your honor to that father, please be quick to cut it. Please be fast. Some of you are saved genuinely and have loved men of great honor until somebody told you about his weakness. Until you hear something you were not supposed to hear, which have destroyed you. It had destroyed your service. It had destroyed your honor. You used to see this man at the greatest honor until somebody came to you and you give audience to the right, the wrong person and that person exposed your father's nakedness to you. And now it has affected your service to the person. Honor to your person. I pray God. Some of you couldn't honor your fathers because of your things your mother told you about your father. May God have mercy. Amen. Because your mother said a lot of things. Listen to me. Even if your father is a madman, can you change it? He's still your father. You can't change your father. The command is honor. God didn't tell you to weigh in the spirit whether you are going to honor that person or not. May God forgive all of us. Some of you naturally have grown hatred, hatred and bitterness against your father because your mom told you things. May, may you never see that nakedness. Amen. Refuse to see it. Continue. Of his father. Of his father, what is? And told his two brethren. Then he came and, and, and told Japheth, Shem and Japheth that I've seen that this nakedness. And the Bible said, but when the two of them heard it, what did they do? And Shem and Japheth. Then Shem and Japheth took a garment. Took a garment. What and is? laid it upon both their shoulder. Then they laid it upon their shoulder and went backward. So instead of them going this way, so that they can see their father, they turn around. They tell because we don't want to see the nakedness. It is even a shame to have for us to see the shame of our father. How did they cherish their father? They covered their father's nakedness. Instead of you to cover your father's nakedness, you are rather exposing and seeing it. Mm. Bible said, he said, they took and they went back. You should have been the one who should have defended your father. And the Bible said they went back. And they didn't want to show. Harm! didn't have an excuse to see his father's nakedness. You must position yourself never to see your father's nakedness. It's a choice. Sir. Now, Noah, the Bible speaks of him that Noah was a righteous man. Mm. He is one man, the Bible said he had a walk with God. Apart from Enoch. The Bible said he was a righteous man. He feared God. But Noah was under an intoxicating effect. Bible said they went and covered. Some of you, you are in a company that are consumed. We're talking about those, there's some people who belong here. 
Some of them use their house as parliament how to, dis, to discuss leaders and their pastors. Ye God, look at how the devil has successfully lured them into destroying their life and nobody cares them. The Bible said they went to cover. Read. What does it say? And covered the nakedness of their father. And they covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward. And their faces were backward. And they saw not their father's And they saw not their father's what? Nakedness. Nakedness continue. And Noah awoke from his wine. And Noah awoke from his wine. And knew what his younger son Dead had done unto him. In, what is? Even in his in his stupor. Okay? His spiritual senses were so high. You see? He knew, even when physically he was actually under a stupor. His senses were so high. He knew. He, they were so high. Listen. Don't be deceived by the things that spiritual man is doing in the physical. He might be off but very high in the spirit. The Bible said he woke up and he knew what his son Ham had done. What is and did what? And he said. And he said. Curse be Canaan. I am cursing Canaan. Curse be Canaan. Now Canaan is the seed of Ham. Canaan is the son of Ham. Because seed familiarizes itself with seed. I've told you honor is a seed. Likewise, this honor too is a seed. When he woke up and he knew that Ham has sown a seed of this honor, the thing is that that seed went to fetch the seed of Ham. Some of you, by the dishonor you have carried, had already destroyed the seed of innocent children. Your children are innocent, but the kind of seed you have sown had gone all the way into your future and right now your sperm the one even in your loins is is already under a spiritual embargo what if he had done the right thing continue and said what and he said curse be canaan uh -huh. A servant of servants. A servant of servants. Shall he be unto his Shall brethren. Shall Canaan be to his brethren. Continue please. And he said. And he said. Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. Blessed what this. When they convert their father's nakedness. Listen to me. One of the doorways. Into stepping. Into God's blessing for your life. Is for you to pass the test. Of covering your father's shame. Have you told the reason why God gave you the, there was an opportunity given to you to discredit who your father is? That was a test for your blessing. You must understand how that blessing comes in disguise. The blessing was coming, but it came in the disguise of a test. And the moment shame and Japheth passed the test. The blessing came. So, at a point in your life, where you were about to step into some breakthroughs, that will be the time the test will come. And they are coming because a father stood up to proclaim and declare in the realm of the spirit a blessing. That's why the Bible said with that contradiction, the less is blessed by the greater because blessings, even though God has blessed every spiritual blessings in heavenly places, but blessings are dispensed upon mankind through the channel of men. Men are God's dispensers of his blessings. Never see the name. Never. You might have, they had an idea. He said, he, he told them. They moved quickly to cover. Once you hear something and you know, it doesn't go well. For your blessing's sake, don't wait the man of God to come and repair. Repair it because the blessing is yours. In the repairing, the blessing did not come on Noah. It came upon his children. So the responsibility was for them to walk in the blessing. Cover. But you are too smart. As for you, even when you hear something else, you promote it to the next level. Hmm. You are the only one who have advanced knowledge. The moment they told me about the father's nakedness, it ended with them. As for you, it doesn't end with you. It goes to another level. Yes. I don't have time. 
you read that. Let's go to the second one. I close because my time is up. Yes, sir. Genesis 49. Genesis 49. See this honoring. It's dangerous. Verse 3. Reuben. Reuben. Thou art my firstborn. You born. are my firstborn. My might and the beginning of my strength. My might and the beginning of my strength. The excellency of dignity. The excellency of dignity. And the excellency of power. And the excellency of power. Unstable as water. The unstable as water you will not excel. Uh -huh. Because thou went test Because up. you went what? Up. Up. To thy father's bed. To your father's bed. Then defiles thou it. And defiles thou it. The, you see, when Noah, the Bible said he was naked, it means he was sleeping. Mm. Read this one. He talks about bed. There is a mm. mystery with when a father is sleeping. Mm. He said you went, you went to your father's bed to def defile it. Defile it. You went to defile your father's bed. His honor. Be careful. You say he said you will not you will not excel because he had gone to dishonor a father. How you don't know what excel how excellent you trace Sabo to a father. Mm. You will not joke with it. You went to your, you went to your father's bed to defile it. Mm. Father. People already defiling. You know, his father's concubine, he went to defy. And there are people who are defiled their life. Everything they do for pastor, you want it. You wish you were the one that was that you, in your heart you have already enjoyed it. Be careful. The same reason you moved and you look at him and say, no, does he, does he deserve that? Um, um, and look at the man who went to speak about Jesus and said, does he deserve that honor? Look at Jesus. Must you break this oil that he says, we could have sell it and gave it to the poor. Does he deserve it? Be careful. Refuse to see it. For your good. Maybe Ham didn't realize it. That's why you must be careful how you go into the bedroom of your father. You can go to your father's bed to clean it and make it clean. Or you can go there to defile it. So the same place of blessing is the same place of curse. 